So who in their right mind would think it was a good idea to put a group of kids with impairment in social interaction, receptive and expressive language, and stereotype and repetitive behaviors to perform in front of others? I would. <laughs> in fact, that's exactly what I've done by taking children with autism and introducing them to the magic of theater to enhance their social, emotional, and communication competence. But how can that be? Children with autism have significant difficulty communicating, recognizing social cues, understanding other people's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, something we call theory of mind. Some of you may be thinking, putting children with autism on the stage is kind of like throwing somebody who doesn't swim into the deep end. And you may be right. However, we give them a life preserver in the form of a trained, typically developing peer who models for them and keeps them afloat. We make it fun through humor and play and taking risks. And we create a character and we rehearse with our fellow cast members to the point of confidence and performance. I'm an actor, turned clinical psychologist, turned scientist, honored to be able to blend the worlds of art and science to create Sense Theater. So years ago, I was a writer working for a producer who strongly recommended that I take acting classes to improve my writing to gain an actor's perspective. It was then that I realized that acting was something you could learn. I'd always thought that acting, getting up in front of people and making them think or feel was something you were born with, not something you could learn. Well, I caught the bug and spent the next 12 years developing my craft as a professional actor. And it was transformative in every way as I gained in knowledge and perspective taking and confidence in communicating with others. Eventually, when I went to school to become a psychologist, I thought someday, some way, acting might be useful as a form of therapy, indeed. Eventually, I became the founder of Sense Theater, a peer-mediated theater-based intervention research program for children and adults with autism. Our published research has been largely funded by the National Institute of Mental Health. In over several randomized clinical trials, we've shown significant improvement in social cognition, communication, and adaptive skills in children who had Sense Theater compared to those who did not. We do this through three key components, peers, play, and performance. First, let's talk about the art. The theater may be an ideal environment in which to address some of the core features of autism, especially reciprocal social interaction. The theater can be a safe, supportive, creative, and inclusive space. Acting allows us to build a character to improvise and come up with other ways of responding. And it gives us a unique window into the human condition. And perhaps most importantly, as I can personally attest, it helps build confidence to be ourselves. In fact, acting maps on beautifully to some of the core characteristics of autism. Creating a character teaches perspective taking helping the child with autism to improve their theory of mind. Improvisation helps teach flexibility, allowing the autistic mind to be more open and less restricted. Role playing teaches social communication in a way that is fun and engaging and in an environment that's dynamic and supportive. So now, let's take a look at the science behind the scenes. Peers as in peer mediation, is a well-established psychological concept in that we often learn best from peers who are expert in an area in which we are lacking. In fact, social skills can be enhanced by watching expert peer models performing and then imitating what they see. In fact, taking typically developing peers and teaching them how and when to interact with children with autism can help them through guided practice, providing examples and social support. Because if the objective of a social skills program is to help children with autism 
to engage more proficiently with their peers in natural settings, then the inclusion of typically developing peers in the treatment is logical, economical, and beneficial. Moreover, the research shows the peers who engage in the program also show social and emotional growth from the experience of helping others. Play. Developmental psychologists have shown us for years that play is essential for our cognitive, social, emotional, and physical development. In fact, it's vital for healthy brain development. Play stimulates our imagination. It helps us to learn about the social world, about others and ourselves. Moreover, it's fun. And it can help a child with autism to establish and to maintain friendships. Performance. Psychology and neuroscience have shown us for years of the importance of engaged practice and learning to the point of automaticity. In other words, when learning a new skill, we need to have the opportunity to practice, rehearse, improve, and ultimately to make the skills part of our natural repertoire. Through efficiency, spontaneity, socialization can be enhanced by performing with a variety of partners or actors. Taken together, peers, play, and performance provides the foundation for sense theater, helping children with autism in areas in which they most need to learn through acting and interacting. The theater can become a stage of hope. It can become a form of therapy. So while the focus of sense theater is on autism, the ideas and lessons are far-reaching. Learning to be able to communicate and engage with others more authentically and flexibly could benefit us all. Learning and having compassion for other people their life circumstances is woefully needed in our society. In this way, the theater can help us to be able to be more flexible, open, recognize differences, and to value them as meaningful. We can learn to improvise when things don't turn out the way we want. Then we can become more accepting of change. Can the theater really do all those things? I think it can, whether one chooses to be on the stage or in the audience. Giving yourself the opportunity is where it starts. And if that doesn't convince you, if children with autism can do it, why not you? <laughs> Maybe it's time to get on the stage in your own life. Take a chance. Try something new. Get out of your own way. Tell your own story. In case I've at least awakened your curiosity, there are a variety of ways that you can have your own acting or performance experience. You can join local community or regional theater. Sign up for an acting or improvisation class. Giving yourself the opportunity to find new ways to express yourself. Be able to have more insights into the perspective of others is truly transformative. The theater is a safe, supportive, creative, and inclusive space to enhance competence for children with autism and to build confidence for many of us. By blending the worlds of art and science, we can create a stage of hope. Thank you. <laughs>